cloud. When we always talk about the cloud, the cloud, the cloud, and how important it was, and it wasn't until a long time that we saw Amazon Web Services was going to be right. one of the big winners. There. Yeah, and I think, look, you have to keep in mind, this is a software program. When we talk about blockchain technology, right. what we are talking about is a software program. Can that software program help companies? Can it help businesses? Can it help entrepreneurs? But the thing that I've been trying to grapple with is then who, I can see the loser, by the way. The loser invariably is the middleman. Anybody, and that's why right. I said banks could be the winners to some degree because they would take out a lot of the middlemen and some of the charges. And a lot of their own back office right. operations. By the way, there's an argument to be made that the banks come out of this too because if you, if you could have you know, an Amazon yeah. or somebody and not have to actually transact, right. that changes yeah. things. But at the software level, is there a winner in this? Is there, is, there, is there somebody well, I mean, in the look, middle? I mean, there are people offering services like IBM, right. Accenture, and lots of folks who can charge by the hour or by the project. I mean, what I would like to think is that the, the big winner in this will be the consumer, will be the individual, will be the citizen. I mean, the idea is, you're right, the idea of this program is that the validating, the, the process of validating a transaction, the process of sort of coming up with an objective version of the truth will be handled by this program, by this software. So everybody who's using the product on whatever level, whether it's within an industry, whether it's a general purpose, blockchain-based system, the people who will benefit the most are the users of it, not necessarily the companies. Right. So this is what I've been saying. This is why I am invest investing in cryptocurrency. And, you know, this is the business of blockchain is basically us, you know, the people that, you know, put five thousand dollars into a wells uh, fargo checking account or you know go shopping with our uh, credit card in the in the in the merchant you know obviously has to deal with that three percent transaction fee i i really do feel like long term cryptocurrency is a great thing to be investing in because you're going to be helping you know everyone everyone pays fees i mean um you know go look at the financial of banks go look at the financial of you know these large companies and a lot of the money that they're making, um, you know, technically as this blockchain technology gets more and more efficient, you know, hopefully it comes back to us. Hopefully, um, you know, there's less banker billionaires, you know, they hopefully can make their million dollar salaries and stuff like that. But, you know, I think that, you know, now if you're someone who's saving or investing, um, you know, the long term outlook looks good. And uh, if you're if you're in business and you're selling products, um, it's all looking good that that middleman the, the the giant banking cartels are gonna you know have to take a little bit less have to become more efficient they have to compete um even in investing you know like i'm a big fan of robin hood because you know transaction fees are zero and it would be great you know and seeing the competitors you know merrill lynch or charles schwab having to reduce their fees so um i know that there's a lot of negative uh coverage about cryptocurrencies but you know if you are going to invest i think one of the things you know the business of blockchain is bringing back money to the consumer which is us and the more money we put in this this hopefully will lead to where you know these giant banking cartels and you know for example the, the wells fargo ceo who basically you know stealing opening up fraudulent checking accounts and got you know a 200 million dollar severance package hopefully now <laughs> the next time he commits a crime or another banker commits a crime they'll only get a 50 million dollar you know severance package instead of 200 million but i mean that's hopefully what i am hoping that you know blockchain will fix and that's the business of blockchain but let me know your thoughts uh would love to uh have a discussion about this so uh Please subscribe to the channel. Please drop a comment and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.